Good, welcome to Mike. Right to your left is the Vice Chair, Mr. Cavaeus. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Frankel, Mr. O'Brien, Mr. Rydell, uh, Head of Inspectional Services, Mr. Duca, our clerk, Ms. Murphy. If you have a cell phone or a page, could you please put it on silent or vibrate? If anyone's going to testify tonight, could you please stand up and take an oath? Anyone's going to testify? If you think you might testify, please stand up and take an oath. Thank you. You swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, not the whole truth, I hope you God. Thank you. We have a motion to waive the uh, minutes of April 26th. Mr. Chairman, I make a motion to waive the reading of the minutes of our April 26th meeting. Second. Second. On the motion, seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? So moved. On the old business, uh, case number 1613, we have a letter here, Fast and Development, 150, 154, Quincy Ave. We want to continue this to July 12th. They haven't gone in front of uh, planning board yet, so we want them to go there. We have a motion for this. Yeah, Mr. Chairman, the matter number 16-013, Fast and Development, LLC, Florence and Andy Member, Florida right. Dairy, to construct a 17-year three-story residential development on the premises number 150. 150, 154, Quincy Air. Big motion to uh, continue the hearing to July. Second it. Second. And a motion. Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Aye. Move. Is there anyone here for that case? That will be heard July 12th. Next on old business, case number 16015. Mike Kinsawi for variance mining to demolish the existing two story residence, construct a two and a half story single family residence. The premises 30 sunrise council. Thanks, Mr. Chairman. Yeah, we have uh, Rob Fleming, Fleming and Fleming. I represent the applicant here. This was a continued matter from April 12th, I believe. Uh, there were some concerns by the uh, by the board as well as some some neighbors uh, in the area. Again, this is a uh, application for uh, the raising uh, of a single family uh, residence and, and constructing a new. Uh, Two and a half story uh, residence um, uh, centered on the lot. Uh, concerns back in April 12th were one, the height of the building. Uh, my client has addressed that uh, through his architect. They have come down a couple of feet on the height. Uh, there was a concern by, I think, the board, but uh, neighbors as well. There was a wraparound, there's a wraparound porch uh, which extended out 10 feet. Uh, Michael did uh, bring that in five feet. Uh, so we're looking at uh, you're permitted uh, with this particular lot, it's a non-conforming lot, to have 22 feet total of side setbacks. Uh, and with the exception of the, uh, the bulkhead, uh, Michael almost meets that. We have about a foot and a quarter on, on one side with that wraparound section is that's about 9.75 feet uh, from that lot line. Mm -hmm. The other side, again, with the exception of the bulkhead, uh, he's, he's about 11 feet off uh, that side. Um, so he has addressed that you know, by, by you know, tailoring that down to five feet. Um, there was proposed in the original plans a uh, single car garage. Um, and I think Chairman Aikens, uh, you, you had uh, thought you may, we might be able to do a, a two-sided uh, double garage underneath. Because of the narrowness of the lot in the house, we have 28 feet. Um, to incorporate stairs, the architect has told me that it's about 24 feet you know, for that double garage. We just didn't have the room to do. However, on the original, there was a drive-through from Sunrise to Hawkins and, and all the way through. Uh, neighbors on Sunrise had objected to that. We removed that. There's no driveway, no, no garage access from Sunrise, only from Hawkins. Uh, here, here's what I see here. Um, and I have some letters here. I'll write into the market. <coughs> I went down and looked at the property. I looked at your plans. On your second floor, on your, on your balcony, you have a Hub sticking out five feet, which is the house. Which the person beside it, her only window to her ocean view for 100 years is going to be taken away. So, what I'm going to ask you if you can move that house back five feet, we'll give you a setback on the back. Move the house back five feet. That way, she gets to enjoy her ocean. Fine, okay with that? And I, and I did speak with uh, that particular neighbor too, both the neighborhood meeting, we looked at it, and uh, there was concern of, of both um, you know, 
moving it back, you know, meeting that front setback. Unfortunately, this is uh, a lot fronts uh, two streets. Mm -hmm. You know, so he's subject to 25 foot setback on mm -hmm. both. You know, which is real, real hardship. But yeah, if we, if we moved it, we would be, we would you know, with, within 20 within 20 feet. So we would request the variance for front setback. Right. Sure. So uh, which way direction are you moving it towards? Towards sunrise. Towards sunrise. We'll, we'll sunrise. Moving it towards sunrise. Uh, yeah, I, think, I think that particular uh, neighbor lives uh, Hawkins uh, right next door. Uh, so, uh, yeah. West. So I've spoken to Michael regarding that, uh, you know, recently, and uh, he, he is certainly willing to to, uh, to move, make that move. Yeah. There's one so, other thing on, on the front of this on Hopkins. You have two parking spaces that are there. Now you put them in a new driveway. What are we doing with those other spaces? That's going to be probably grass, I would assume, where the existing drive is. You're going to take that out? Yeah. That we do it fast. Yeah. So, all right. You can see it on here. Any other questions? Is that, is that the only place that the abutting neighbor parked? Is there? I'm sorry, what's the abutting neighbor? Does she park there? Or does we are going to be more She has two spaces, and I have two spaces. Yeah. Right. And they're, they're, so they're combined right now. Yeah, right. So. yeah, it's like one big paved area, but okay. I have to take out a half. But it goes to my box. Just so you have more grass. It's all be nice grass. And it'll look nice. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And that was supposed to Thank you. Any other questions to the council? No, no. Thank you. This time. Uh, if I could, we've already heard from the neighbors. Now we have some new letters here. Uh, is Janet Hickey here? Oh. Could you step forward, please? understand what you've done for your neighbor you let him come closer to your house and now he's willing to put that back five feet is that the 26 foot setback so in the front you're going to have somewhere about 30 probably plus 30 plus what? on hot it's going to go back 30 feet this way. From the front. Right. So which gives you the house is going back five feet at least okay does that work is it 25 feet or 26? I thought it was 26. It's 25 feet frontage. So he's got two frontages. He needs 25 in the front and 25 in the back. But what we're going to do is yeah, we're going to. need six feet. But what we're going to do is we're going to move this back to 20 feet frontage on sunrise. Oh. And give him a variance for that. So you have all. You can look at the ocean and that bathtub okay. won't be in your way. Okay. Right? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. That's it. Anything else? Want to add? No. Need a couple trees? <laughs> no? Okay. Nothing. Thanks. Is there anyone else that wants to add anything new that hasn't added anything since the plans have changed? Yeah, sure. Okay. So I need an 18 sunrise. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Come on up. So we all here. Okay. I'm at 18 sunrise. Nope, there's no microphone there. I'll oh, wait till you get up. I know, but. Everyone's so we're taking the, the same house. Yep. We're just sliding it back five feet. Five feet. So you maintain the same front that he has now, no, which is 21 feet from sunrise. Yeah, it's going to be right. It's uh, 20. It's going to be 20 foot, a couple inches. You get 25 one. So it'll be 20 foot one inch. But it's, it's, it's going to be on the same foundation, basically, as it is now. Well, it's moved. It's 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 going to go as far yeah, as when that goes back five feet. It's probably going to be even. It'll be right at the edge of that foundation, right? The porch. On the second floor, the porch. Okay. And still. So we're moving this piece here back to about here, which means this step, this covered porch, will probably be up here, just to the second floor. Okay, and you keep the same. Unless, yep, unless everything's, everything's the same. Okay, so may I be allowed to still say sure. that I'm not, I am not pleased with a uh, less than 10 foot side set tabs okay. on this home? Because it does set a precedent. No, I know, but it's, he does have 
nine feet and three quarter inches. I mean, he's a quarter of an inch off. It's worse today. Huh? The setback's worse no. today. No, I am. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm just but, saying. Yeah. But I get I'm talking it about. You have and then on the other side, the other side, he has 11, and a quarter, 11 feet and a quarter. You have an existing non conforming being replaced by a larger non conforming. And that I still remain not, as a neighbor, not pleased with a less than 10 foot side setback. I mean, you want the house moved a quarter of an inch? Well, that's what we get. That's what we're talking about. Talking about a quarter of an inch. Here's the deck. Here's the deck. Is the deck gone? No, the deck's here, but here's what it is. It's nine, nine feet, three quarters. So it's nine That's feet nine. Probably, right? That's nine. Nine foot down the hill. No, yeah. yeah. Eleven, yeah. eleven, from four. Four. Yeah. 11 yeah. feet. So it's on the hot yeah. Eleven yeah. feet four inches. I have not. You got eleven feet four inches and three inches, two inches short of And it's still feet. approximately thirty foot behind. Thirty three, thirty two and a half. Thirty two and a half. The average is 33 and 33. All right. That's kind of slow. All right. I see what you're saying. Anyone else have any comments? Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, let her read. Uh, my name's Christine Kenny. Okay. I live at 21 <laughs> Sunrise Road. I'm up diagonally up the street. Mm -hmm. My brother is actually out of town, playing vacation, couldn't attend. He was here at the last meeting, mm -hmm. and he made it um, perfectly clear he's not opposed to a new home being built. Mm -hmm. He is opposed to any um, the house coming any closer than it currently is. After reviewing the new plans and looking at it, um, he has a pretty lengthy letter here. Mm -hmm. okay. So I'm just going to scoot through this. And he states that he owns the house at 34 Sunrise Road. He is the direct abutter to the project. You should start by saying, I am not opposed to my neighbor improving his property or having a bigger house. I expect that the new house would be bigger than the current house. I do have three concerns about this house. One, the side yard set back next to my home. Two, the size of the house. And three, the third four floor balconies overlooking his house and yard. Both of our houses are non-conforming and too close to the property line. I am opposed to this new house and porch being any closer to my property line. There is no reason for it to be any closer to me than the existing house. I am opposed to the size of the house because I believe that it's too big for an undersized 5,800 square foot lot. The house is over 3,100 square feet, plus the six open and covered porches that are on every floor of the house. The amount of interior floor area plus outside porches is overwhelming for this lot size. The house has porches and decks on every level. All the porches and decks extend to the edge of the house closest to my property line. These decks mean that people from the new house can be standing on the second and third floors, staring down into my front and backyards, infringing on my right to privacy in my home. I believe that my neighbor could make a modest reduction in the size of the house by decreasing the width and length by a couple of feet each. This would still result in a large house with plenty of floor area and good sized rooms. I would also like to see my neighbor reduce the size of third floor decks to eight feet to maintain privacy in my yard. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, you do know the house went further away from you than it was. Um, the decks shrunk inside, if I'm not mistaken. I don't honestly no. know. No, 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 I'm just saying that, but he did move the house away from his house. All right. Okay. I, I, get, I get what you're saying about yeah. that. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone else? Second call. Third call. Anyone else? Step forward. <coughs> How you doing? Good. My name is Donald Lawton. I live at 21 Sunrise Road. Yep. I oppose this the structure of this house, I think the structure of the house is just too big for the lot. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. 
gentleman Lenny here from uh, Ina Hickey, which I'll read in even though she spoke. She's talking about she wants that house moved five feet back. I have another letter from the DPW, which I'll read into the record. April 4, 2016, 30 Sunrise Road, case number 16015. We review the reference project. The comments are as follows. Specify how much impervious area will be increased in the development. Two, provide plan showing existing the proposed site conditions, layout of utilities, rating, drainage, and construction details. Three, explain how the surface runoff will be discharged and treated. Install survey map. Monuments to donate the public right away. The monument shall be set by a professional land surveyor. Five, provide dimensions and grades for the paving area for all driveway entrances. Six, apply stormwater connection permit for the Department of Public Works before construction. Seven, upon completion of the project, as built plan showing our utilities, building footprints, reference bonds, and benchmarks to find a total site facilities, right of ways, needs to be submitted along with a digital file. These as built plans shall be stamped and signed by a professional land surveyor. If anything else, please advise. Uh, we'll call it out of hearing close. Counselor, do you have something? Yes. Thank you. Thanks oh. very much. I was here um, a couple weeks ago. We talked about 125 Dorchester Street. Mm -hmm. And we were able, you folks were able to figure out a way um, to, as you heard from the last speaker, about the privacy situation and the size of the house. I mean, as, as, a, a, as, a, as these folks being my constituents, mm -hmm. um, certainly we want to uh, improve the neighborhood. The house absolutely needs to be uh, you know, taken care of and, and replaced. And, but um, there is some concern about the size. And then, uh, granted, we're talking about some folks that are looking for five feet. You know, it's, it's something that really needs to be really, uh, I think that, that right now, if, 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 if especially in a butter, is, is not happy with what's going on, it's, it's I mean, taking away privacy that wasn't there. Granted, I know rules are the rules, but I, I think that needs to be considered in this case. Uh, again, we talked about uh, two weeks ago, 125 Dorchester Street. We need to, we, folks need to get together and try to figure it out together. And I think, and then we can come to a happy meeting where everybody's happy. And that's what my role is here, I feel. Ward Council for uh, Ward 6. So, all right. All right. You were the Ward Council when we were here last time, correct? Yes. Okay. You had time to meet with the constituents and meet with the property. Right? Uh, I did not did not meet with the, like, again, now you know, I guess I'm on the, on the hot seat seeing that I got up here. I didn't, um, I didn't get any correspondences uh, that I know of from the owner. Did you reach out to him saying you want to sit with him and meet with him and go over the plans? Well, uh, when when I left this, be honest with you, when I left this room, yep. When I left this room, I said we all need to get together, okay. right? Everybody, mm -hmm. and guess what? People reached out to me, the, the other folks. Mm -hmm. These folks who want who, are, who want to make the changes didn't reach out to me, and I offered it out. So I did. Walking out the door here today, yes, I did, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Anyway, call on by the hearing closed. Uh, we have a project here. And, uh, you know, and people see decks as a problem. I mean, the guy's spending half a million dollars to build a house. He took away sunrise, he's got some decks. It's a beautiful house in the neighborhood. I think he's done with. You know, you got a big house there. What is it? You're trying to get to the ocean view. So you're not trying to look at your neighbors. You're trying to look at your ocean view. I have decks overlooking my neighbor. I mean, it, it's just part of trying to get to the ocean. It, it is what it is. Everyone wants to get a piece of the ocean. So first thing, I'm going to be voting in favor. I think the people asked us what we wanted to do as far as moving the house, taking away the street, the other cutout, not a drive-through, move the house back. Uh, I think it's a good addition to the neighborhood. So I'll be
we vote in favor. Mr. Chairman, I, I, I think I agree with the I, I'm only hesitant about the number of judges, but, you know, it, it, it is what it is in a way. I mean, I like the judges. <laughs> I mean, yeah. one goes around the corner. It goes around the corner, and yeah. So, yeah. It's the first one back, but it's the second floor deck's going to like <coughs> I think the majority of the house fits within the zoning code. So mm -hmm. I think our only objection is the side yards. The mm -hmm. person on the right the house is moving away from away from mm -hmm. on the left it's it's pretty it's a little impact there, but there's a lot more room. She even let him move the house five yeah. feet that way to get closer to her. I think we could sit here forever with objections and somebody else would come along. Uh, I can, I but I, I understand what they're saying, but if, isn't everyone trying to get a piece of water when you're up in your deck without the water? I don't think, you know, you're spying on people. And, yes. and some of the houses down there are 10 feet apart, 8 feet apart, with 5 feet on each side. I mean, it's not people looking at the windows, they're just trying to get a piece of the ocean. You know, it's, it, it is, I, I understand, I do. Mr. Ray Dow, comments? Yeah, I mean, every lot in Quincy is basically non conforming. Uh, there's very few that are conforming. Uh, so, anytime anybody builds a bigger house or, uh, or has to construct a new structure on some of these lots, there's going to be <coughs> height uh, issues that people aren't used to in the neighborhoods. There's going to be different side setbacks that people aren't used to in the neighborhoods. And I think uh, the applicant had made a lot of concessions in the home. I, I, I can understand the position about the porch for the neighbor, but I, knowing the neighborhood well, I mean, you're on a pretty severe slant, um, and I, I just can't imagine that that third floor is going to look at anything but his roof, um, you know, just knowing the neighborhood. So uh, being that I'm pretty comfortable with all of the rest of it, uh, I'll be voting in favor. So Frank, no comments? Comfortable with the concessions that were made at the, the owner slash developer did what he could do to help out his hickey on one side. You've got a proverbial whack-a-mole situation. Everywhere you move, you're going to cause a problem with somebody out whatever direction you're moving the house to. Uh, the gentleman on the right, his house is right up against that lot line, which creates the problem with this house moving a little bit closer. I think they've done what they can. Never been a big proponent of third floor decks as being actually in use and a pain to get to. So uh, I'm not really worried about the overhang. I don't think that's going to become a big issue. And it's not looking into my lawn, but uh, they're looking out. So I would like to be in favor as well. I have a motion, please. Mr. Chairman, in matter of 15 Michael Sozin for a family site to demolish the existing two story residence and can construct a two and one half story single family residence on the promise to permanent number. Thirty Sunrise Road. I uh, make a motion to grant the variance under first the conditions and stipulations inside the PPW letter, and that we grant the variance. We're granting this for the frontage. 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 Frontage on Sunrise, which will be moving out. Second. Second. On the motion. Second. Seeing none. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Opposed. So moved. Further on to tonight's agenda. Thank you. Case number 16016. Desiree T. for planning to convert the existing single family home into a two family home in the presence of 54 Union Street. The African representative here. Uh, 
On uh, case number 16016, since the applicant is not here, can I have a motion please to deny? <coughs> Mr. Chairman, now number 16-016, Frederick Dane for a finding to convert an existing single family home into a two family home in presence of a 54 Newton Street 20. I make a motion to deny the family. Second. 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 Motion. Seeing none. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? So moved. Thank you for your service. Good Thank evening. Thank you, Councillor. We're going to run tonight's agenda. On a new business, case number 16. 023. What? Oh, oh. Case number 16023, Mark and Sean Potter for a variance to construct a side rear addition on the deck, premises number 14, Richfield Street. Is the applicant a representative here? Yes. Hello. You have the floor. I was waiting on you. Wanted. Yes, uh, my name is Brian McGuire. Uh, contractor uh, representing Mark and, and Sean Zapata to construct a uh, tear down and construct a uh, two story building and add 31 by 18 garage off the side for the uh, requirement. And also, we're looking for variants for the back deck, which is uh, 12 by 18 off the back. Get a tan on using the same footprint, you know? Yeah, yes, yeah, sir. We're using the same uh, exact footprint, yes. So it's going to be the same size that we've made, the same setbacks, everything's the same, right? The only thing they were asking for is uh, a side deck, uh, no, a rear deck, rear deck, and that's how big is that? 12 by 18? 12 by 18. And how far you walk the uh, fence? And the addition to the garage? Right, there's living space above the garage. So it's just going to connect. So it's, it's, it's like you say, four houses up, the same thing opposite? Exactly right. Yeah. Yeah. Any questions, the applicant? If not, right now we can get back to them. Uh, Any questions right now? No. There must be a lot of stuff growing inside the house. Nice sort of old dog Mr. Dugan. Yes, Mr. Dugan. <laughs> Yes, Mr. Dillard. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I just want to go on record. Uh, the folks have been in here. Brian's worked very hard with our department to draw some plans at work. This will take a house off our blight list. It's been a problem for the building department for many years, so I just wanted to add that. Thank you. And you have to take all those 20 foot down. Go on. Go on. Go on. They said you can help on if you want. <laughs> I also want to say this one beautiful part of it. Just hang it out in the mud. <laughs> any other questions? If we have any, we'll get back to you. Okay, you can have a seat right here. Is there anyone that would like to speak in favor? Speak in favor. First call, you step forward. Petition Oh, a lot of friends. Yeah. Life on the <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Mike Burns. I live at 157 Stanish Road. I'm the director of Butter Behind Him. Shauna is my daughter. She's going to be living here with my granddaughter and her husband, Mark. Squatter residents forever. I'm a squatter resident forever. And I have no opposition to this at all. Well, we talked about that today. We're looking at an electric fence. <laughs> Keep the grandparents away from the grandparents. Oh, it's too late for that. I thought so. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else?
members and questions? I'm Jean Burns, and uh, I live at 1257 Again, that's my daughter. <laughs> um, after speaking to a lot of bodies, I know that they've all signed them. Everyone is thrilled to see that copy finally being fixed up. Um, you know, we've seen a lot of raccoons on the roofs and all kinds of things. So that would be really nice. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone else? Second call? In favor, third call? Counselor, you want to say something? No, I'm afraid I don't want to hurt their chances. Counselor, you're fitting right in. So, uh, just so we have it on record here, there is. This is 41. Anyone wants to look at it, it'll be in the record. There's 41 people that are in favor. We, the undersigned, have no objections to the new owners. And a second floor on one car garage on property 14 inches. So that's, now I have this letter here. So there's no. Tony and Grace Pringo, 18 Richfield Street. As next door neighbors of the property, 14. We have no objection to the new owners building within 10 feet of the property line. We're happy to have them as our new neighbors to finally see the property renovated. Uh, and that's your neighbor. Is that the uh, aluminum guy? Yep. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they even have a junk collector to grab all the aluminum so they ain't all over the place, clean it all up nice, beautiful. Anyone else want to speak in favor? Second call, third call, call the public hearing close. I have a letter here from the DTW. It's dated April 21st, 2016, 14 Richfield Street, case number 16023. We review the above reference project. Our comments are as follows. One, specify how much impervious area will be increased due to the development. Two, provide plan showing the existing site conditions, layout of utility, grading, drainage, and the construction details. Three, explain how the surface runoff will be discharged and treated. Pause. Install survey monuments to donate the public right away. The monument shall be set by a professional land surveyor. Five. Provide dimensions and grades of paving area and all driveway entrances. Six. Repair all utility trenches in the public right away. Control with density fill infrared. Seven. Apply stormwater connection permit for the public Office of Public Works before construction. Eight, upon completion of this project as built, showing all plans, utilities, building footprints, reference bounds, benchmarks, defining total site facilities right away immediately submit along with digital file. The as built plan shall be signed by a professional land surveyor. If there's any further questions, please advise. Is there anyone opposed or undecided to this project? First call, second call. Third call, call that part of hearing closed. Uh, I just want to look at that. Uh, right. yeah. How big is the driveway? It says 27.9 here. Uh, and that's on the frontage of the road. And if it is, why do we need it that big? You know, the, 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 the driveway 18 is probably from the sidewalk at the most. It might be about uh, 12 or 14 feet. Possibly. Why? Well, why do I? Yeah. Why? Uh, this is 27 9. I think that's the from to the corner. But it is. And it's a driveway. And there's nothing else here. That's yeah. the only dimension on the plane. Yeah. How big is it? 18? The garage? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So you're an 18 foot driveway? Yeah. yeah. Right. So it's 18. Just the front plan on the front system. It's 18 feet. That's just. I don't know. Okay. the driveway. All right. Those are my questions. Any other questions? I don't know. Yeah. Have a motion, please. I'm in favor. Anyone else? Anyone opposed? No. Any comments? Have a motion, please. This is Chairman uh, H number 16-023, also shown a part of where a variance to construct a side and rear division living deck on the front of the town of 14 Richmond Street. And Tuesday, I make a motion to grant the variance uh, subject to the items of the DPW. Secondary? Okay. A motion. Seeing that, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? So moved. Thank you, and thank you for investing with Quincy. It's a beautiful home. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Good luck.
rather under tonight's agenda. Page 16, 024. Part of our variance floodplain to construct two separate second story additions on a wood deck on the premise number 38 and else. The opportunity to represent us here. Good evening, board members. Good evening, Ms. Murphy. For the record, my name is Steve DeRoche in the Park of Valley Survey at 95 White Street here in the city of Quincy. And also for the record, I'm glad to see that you're not stuck in some place like Minnesota or Iowa or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I, I get. I was not sure if we agree with that. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, gentlemen, I'm, uh, I'm here this evening representing my uh, client, Mr. Kevin Smith. He is the owner of KCB Properties. He's here this evening with his wife. Um, they would like to put on uh, a couple of additions to this existing house at the Randlett Street. I want to put on a 14 by 24 and a half foot addition to the rear and a second story uh, to the right hand side. It's also going to serve as a carport. And it's going to be an elevated addition. And the last one is a uh, mud room in the front of the house, a five foot by ten foot mud room. The property is in a special flood asset area. The uh, existing basement is going to be demolished and broken up and brought up to code for the, uh, uh, for the flood area. Okay. Um, as far as the setbacks are concerned, we're probably not exceeding what, uh, what is existing today. But the house is a pre existing non conforming structure. Approximately on the left hand side, six and a half feet off the property. The new addition on the right is going to also be about six and a half feet. Um, so you are expanding. I'm sorry? When you're right, you're expanding, you're going out 12 yes. feet in your addition, you're bringing it within six feet. My question is this really. The shed, the way, these, the way this fence is drawn, this fence was put in, that's his neighbor's yard? Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the neighbor's fence. No, that's what I'm at. That was yeah. my next question. It looked like it was the neighbor's fence. Yeah. He put it there. Mm -hmm. I don't know why he did, but he did. Uh, but what I see now is the shed that is not in his property. Correct. We're going to move that over like four feet so it is in his property? No, well, if you can tell us that we have to I do think that. It, yeah. Show me a little shed. I'm going to get rid of the shed. I'm going huh? to get rid of the shed. The shed it's all rotted and stuff. It's going to be gone. All right. uh, is the neighbor here? Yeah. I believe so. The fence? What's that? You put that fence up? Are you talking about it on my side? Yeah, on your side. Yes. 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 Nice name. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and to the right, there's a lot here. Now, is that the Davises? Do they own that? Where the cop board is, do they own that? The one to the right? There's like a, there's a fence over there, and then there's like a small little lot there. Yeah, they uh, I don't know if that's all theirs. They have like a double lot. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. So yeah. And then where your garage is, if you look in the back, seven and a half feet, it looks like where your property line is, you do have a little small uh, broken up fence to the Yeah, it's up. just pitch hedges. I'm probably gonna take those out of the neighbor. That neighbor is also I've talked to them, they're gonna put up a fence too. Alright. Yeah. So that'll clean up the back too. Yeah. By that garage. Get rid of the Those are the couple of things that when I'm looking at, I'm looking at, I'm looking at, I'm saying, this is like, that was like that street we got. Everything was not four feet, remember that? The guy's staircase was the neighbors. I have a few of those in my life. Whole street. Whole street. He, he, he wanted to build a brand new house. We yeah. said, stairs. I goes, those stairs are already your neighbors, the ones you own. Yeah. Well, that? Any questions in the applicant? I think it's a pretty nice house to put in that. So Brian, um, what are you going to do with the garage? Uh, I was just going to leave it. The storage? Yeah, storage. Kind of. I'm getting rid of the basement, so yeah. Okay. Is the asphalt staying all the way down? Is there asphalt down there? I don't know. Sorry. Yeah. Is there, is there asphalt? asphalt run? Yeah. Yes, it's asphalt right now. Yeah. All the way to the garage. All the way to the garage. It is behind it. Uh, no, it goes behind the street the all the way to the garage. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it's a long drive, but. No further questions for the channel. Thank you. Anything else? I'm done. Uh, uh, yes. I know, it's already there. It is one of the last one. You think you've got a car for us? You've got to get two or three cars off the street, though. It would be nice to have it, I guess. It's funny, yes. I don't know if we're going to put this 
there anyone that would like to speak in favor? Speak in favor. First call. <coughs> you want to move beside me? <laughs> yeah, we're trying to figure out how to get another piece. So we just <laughs> realized that the fence from our side of the property is, um, you know, not at our lot line. Yeah. So obviously we're, we're not giving up our land. But no, I mean, we have no plans to move. I was fine. So. Looking at it, I'm going, wow. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, um, name and address for the record. Timothy McAloon, 34 Brandon Street. So I'm a direct the butter to them. Um, we are in favor. My wife and I are in favor of this. We think it's going to improve the neighborhood. Um, we think that this is what variances are intended for. Um, to improve neighborhoods without any detriment to the neighborhood. The house that they're planning to build uh, is in keeping with the neighborhood. Their houses are similar size. We never have had, I've been there 27 years, we've never had any flood issues. Uh, there's no water table issue um, where we are on the street with, with the height. So I don't see any, any problems uh, stemming from this development. I think it only improves the neighborhood and we're in favor of it. Thank you very much. Can I, can I suggest one thing? Yeah. You have good neighbors coming in. You better talk to somebody about what adverse possession is. <laughs> no, I know. I know. So we actually sent a letter to the prior neighbors, and okay. so we'll put you on notice that we're not giving up our land. You're on the record now. <laughs> I have an attorney, believe it or not. <laughs> I'll build you a new family. <laughs> as long as you're in business. <laughs> Is there anyone else like speak in favor? Second call. Third call, call up out of hearing close. I have a letter here from the DPW. April 21st, 2016. Now that's Street 38, case number 16024. Review the above reference project and have no comments. Is there anyone opposed or undecided? Opposed or undecided? First call, second call. No one's in the house, third call, close. I think, I think you got a nice piece of property there. It's going to look really nice. I like what you're doing. I like the plans. I like the ideas. And, uh, okay. Look, you did a nice job. I'm not the architect. I love the architect. I think you had something to do with putting that together. I'll be voting in favor. I'll be voting in favor. Likewise. You saw that shit, what did you think? I'm sorry? You saw the shit, what did you think? What the heck is this? Good name. Okay, I'll vote in favor. Likewise. Anybody know? Here's one. I have a motion for case number 16-024, Robert Bernard for a various blood train construction. A two separate second story addition of the blood train construction of 30 Brendel Street. Quincy, I think, is also my rank the various blood train there. Second. Second. Right. The motion. See you then. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? So moved. Motion. 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 Motion.